Hello, I'm Lisa Carter with Photography by Lisa. I'm here today to show you how I have taken a product that's created by Sealand Tiles by Us Incorporated and used it to make creative backgrounds in my photography studio. This company makes um, ceiling tiles, which have a very unique look of original old tin tiles, but they're made out of products that are very lightweight, um, some even made out of foam cores and styrofoam, and they're paintable, or they're beautiful just as you purchase them. So they were impressed when they saw what I took my tiles and made this cute little background, that's the pink tiles behind me, and this product on the wall that's the bronze is their same tiles, but that's the finish they came in. So I loved the bronze and decided not to paint those. The ones that are under the pink were also in that bronze color, but I chose to make a pink background and wipe away some of the paint so that it shows a vintage look for a background. So what you will need to do this project is very simple and it's very inexpensive. You go to your Home Depot or your Lowe's and you purchase a sheet of the 4x8 foam core that you get at any um, home supply store. To glue the tiles down, um, I used this contact cement, and then all you need to do is choose the color of paint that you want to use. So the first thing I would do is glue down all eight tiles. I like the two by two tiles because they fit perfectly across here. Two tiles will give you your four foot, and then the four tiles will give you your eight foot length. So it really fits the four by eight panel perfectly when you do the two foot squares. Although you can be creative with small ones, you can mix and match your designs. Um, so it's endless what you can do. Once you glue down all eight tiles, choose your color of paint and start to paint. I recommend doing this in each, each block individually because you don't want the paint to dry too much before you wipe away your product. So you start by adding your paint and I've got a little head start here. You get your paint down in the grooves really good and the texture that's um, on the panel will vary depending on the design that you buy. Get your paint in, paint one whole solid block. Get it down in there really good. And then to wipe away the paint that you want so that the tile shows through, I like to get a piece of block and put it inside of a sock so that you have a hard surface that's covered in the cloth. And that makes it easy to just wipe across the top and you don't get the paint that's down inside the grooves. And this is where your, your unique vision comes into play. You can wipe away more. If you want to get some out of the grooves that the hard surface didn't get, just take your a different cloth and blot it and take away a little more. If you want to give it a, a brush stroke, you can actually take a dry bristle brush and brush over it to give it some more texture. I tend to prefer the fabrics myself and just wipe away. If you wipe away too much, you can add some paint. If you don't wipe away, enough just go back with your cloth and wipe away until you're happy with the look that you have and then you've created a new background that's simple so go out have fun be creative pick your out some tiles visit stephentilesbyus.com and get all the information you need thanks hope you have fun